versus Bills, two hard no teams going at it on NFL Sunday. You don't get no better than that. Trouble firing, and it's intercepted. Intercepted. Kevin Byers. can't tell they're excited because that's Eddie George y'all yeah. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow, you're uh, bored tonight huh I love never it it's old love it hyped up it should be yeah it's another week another week all right Sunday's behind us good to see you yeah we'll talk about it we'll talk yeah. about it did you have yeah. a good week other than the game man I had an incredible week I was in uh, LA San Diego over the, over the weekend watched the games out there uh, got back late uh, Monday morning, and uh, just trying to figure out where I am on the planet. So, right. like, you know, I've been in San Diego, Baltimore, D.C., Columbus, Nashville. World traveling. World, world traveling the world, Big man. star of this guy. All yeah. right, well, thank you for being here with us. It's yes, good to sir. see you again. All right, let's let's uh, let's do what we do. Let's kick off this show, and uh, let's get going. So, let's, uh, let's do four downs with Eddie, and let's talk about this Bills game. Ouch. <sighs> oh, all right, well, look, 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 look. Yes, loss. I ah. get it. Good things to good things to point out. Number one, uh, the mayor of Murfreesboro, Kevin Byer, yeah. continues to impress. Mm -hmm. He's a stellar athlete. A round of applause for Kevin, y'all. Yep. I mean, we have star athletes on this team, leaders on this team. Uh, you know, he had a big interception, obviously, uh, led to the touchdown. Uh, ball hawk that he is. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at Landry applying the pressure there. Uh, all over the field, five tackles. I mean, it, it, leading by example. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad he's a Titan. <laughs> oh, man. Well, a couple years back, primetime, Deion Sanders says, well, who is uh, just a fan. Kevin Byers? Who, just is, a who fan, is he? Right? Now he's uh -huh. a fan. He, he's my early case. He's making an early case for defensive player of the year. Wow. Okay. And and he's doing it with his play. Uh, granted, the the uh, right now, the record doesn't represent that. He sure. needs some more help in that area. But right now, he's playing out of his mind. He's showing that, hey, he's worth the money and then some. Yeah. He's emerged as a leader on this football team. And the defense has been playing well all season long. Yeah, absolutely. You know, they've given up some big plays. They have a big uh, uh, bimba don't break type of philosophy, mm -hmm. but they get the job done. Yeah, Kevin, he had a, he had a huge pass it. breakup, yeah. too, uh, that, that kept us back in the game, oh, late man. in the game. I mean, yeah. the defense is definitely playing, uh, playing lights out, as you can see right there. All right, so... Thank you, Kevin, for that good play and the rest mm -hmm. of the defense as well. Moving on to second down, uh, Henry continues uh, to, to run a great game. Henry yeah. is solid once again, yeah. 78 yards, had the touchdown. Had yeah. another touchdown that got called back, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, that's painful to watch. But, uh, but, but man, he's continuing to do it. He, he's picking up where he left off last year. Exactly. Since week 14, he leads the NFL in rushers mm -hmm. uh, since week 14, um, number one overall. And the thing I, I'm impressed with him is that he knows, defenses know he's going to get the football, yeah. and he's responding to that. Mm -hmm. His runs after contact mm -hmm. have been amazing. I mean, he's getting four or five yards after contact. Yeah. And with the guys of his size and his stature, look at him. He's running hard in between the tackles, imposing his will. Now it just has to come together for this offense in terms of pass protection. Well, we're going to get to that in a little yeah. bit. But he, he's, he's a bright spot in the offense, and he's, I think he just has to continue – to get the football, to get him into a flow. You talked to him last year. We talked about this was all over the news. You know, mm -hmm. your talk with him was very inspiring. You talked to a lot of football players. and Did you see it in his eyes that he was really understanding what you were saying about imposing his will? Because that's well, something you say a we've, lot. Well, we've talked before, but this was over the phone. Mm -hmm. And um, he was quiet. And usually oh. when you're quiet, you're absorbing what's mm -hmm. being said. He didn't enter. He didn't give any excuses of why he wasn't running well or what was going on. He said, listen, I need you to be frank and, and really be brutally honest with me, and I did just that. And he's just been playing extremely well. He's been running like his his heart, his hair is on fire. Yeah. And uh, and he's he's a phenomenal back. And yeah. when he gets to the second level, he causes damage. And he can 
outrun anybody on the football field. Yeah. We yeah. just got to get him to the second level. We does, but, but it's, it's yeah. fun to watch him late in the game, too, because he is so punishing with those yep. runs. Uh, third down, uh, yeah, you mentioned it, the pass protection. It's I mean, something. Look, that's the elephant in the room. Okay. Okay. Look, okay. You, you, Mariota is going to go only as far as the offensive line allows him to. Okay. Uh, we saw what happens when he gets disruptive, right. uh, disrupted. Um, Jacksonville, they got to him, what, nine right. times. Um, uh, in the losses, he's been out of rhythm because mm -hmm. he's not being protected. They've got to find a way to be more consistent up front. Atlanta kept upright, all things working. Well, it's, it's, my it's point is exactly. complimentary football. Complimentary football. Sure, sure. So it all starts up front. But with this being Taylor's first game back, working in tandem uh, with Roger I think Abraham, it has a lot to do with it. And yeah. Buffalo's got a good defense. I mean, it's, they're Look. real. Look what they did to the Patriots the week prior. My point exactly. Yeah. So let's, Marcus, not, let's not act like they're, they're the Buffalo Bills of old. Now, these no. boys can play some ball on defense. Yeah, now. it's true. It's not, there's some grown men out there. I, I don't even want to see them myself. <laughs> you know, I'm no, a big boy, in it, you know, but they, they, they can't got after it. Yeah. So you got to give them what credit is due. But we had opportunities yeah. to put the nail in the coffin. And that's what's the difference between a good, mediocre team yeah. and a great one that's pursuing a championship. That's true. We're not quite there yet. That's true. We, we had lots of opportunities. We had to, yeah. we, we, it was a good game in so many spaces, but not the right spaces. And yeah, too many missed opportunities. On, well, we got one more down. This way. Moving on to fourth down. Thank you. Thank you. Let's... Well, part of the, the new look of the team, Mr. Cody Parkey has joined the team. Mm -hmm. We got a new kicker. Yes. And, uh, you know, for those of you like, okay, so what's the story on Cody Parkey? Let me tell you something about Cody Parkey here. Okay. Cody Parkey, uh, he is number 20th on the list of, uh, in his percentages. Do you realize this? 20th on the list. you know who's 50th on that list? Sebastian Janikowski. Ooh. Adam Vinatieri is 16th on the list Come of on. percentages. Yeah, wow. so, I mean, the man, uh, he can kick field goals. He uh, kicks a career average of 83.9%. Yeah. So, and, you know, sometimes a fresh start yeah. is always great. A new environment, a new team, mm -hmm. and the fact that he's hungry. Mm -hmm. Look, kickers is a lot like golf. It's based off of your confidence. Mm -hmm. If you can get your confidence up and you got the, the support behind you and you, you re reeled off the numbers, mm -hmm. he can be a very valuable asset. Now, when you miss a couple like my man lost last week, it, your confidence goes down. Sure. You don't have the confidence to kick it through the upright. Yep. So hopefully he'll come in, and I think Mike Rabel will be very patient. Um, and give him op every opportunity to be the guy and yeah. really resurrect his career. Well, here's the deal. We're two and three, okay? We're yeah, two we're and three. So I see a resilient team. Yeah. I see lots of talent. Yeah. I'm excited for this game coming up. Yeah, we all, I think we all are. Yeah, we got <laughs> we we to get to it. We will talk week. about that game in a little bit. Yeah. But, guys, you know, uh, 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on your car insurance. With that, we go to break with our Geico all Fast right. 15. Stick around. <laughs> Titans will be right back. Looking, in trouble, firing, and it's intercepted. Intercepted, Kevin Byers. Titans coming with pressure. In trouble, Allen. Sack! Landry puts him down. Give Henry on the right side. Touchdown! Tight. No review necessary. Farm Bureau Health Plans, Les Smith with Eddie George back with you. It is halftime here on the show. <laughs> and I'll uh, we'll take a break from the X's and O's. Eddie, I got a we're gonna go deep on this. Okay, I love, I love right, the so segment. I got a question for you. We're okay. gonna do a little rock and a hard place. Mm. Would you rather spend the rest of your life surrounded by people, but they are the most annoying people you've ever met? Those fans. Or <laughs> uh, would you rather spend the rest of your life with no annoying people, but no people at all? Alone? Uh, alone, <laughs> alone. I, I, I can't stand people that alone. I like, I like my, I'm a loner by heart and by nature I, anyway. I, I am the same way. Yes, yeah, so definitely. That's an easy one. Alone. Yeah. All right. Yeah, all right. All right. Well, we asked the same of uh, of our Titans uh, players, and you might be surprised what they pick. Here is uh, Rock in a Hard Place, presented by Snickers. <laughs> I'd rather be surrounded by annoying people. I know a lot of annoying people, but I can just tell them, like, chill out. I can't be alone with the rest of my life. Oh. Uh, annoying people. Yeah, you can't, I can't be alone. Can I just be with my wife the rest of my life? That'd be nice. It's the goal. This one's deep. 
deep. Um, I mean, I am a loner, and I do not like annoying people, but I mean, if you have to be alone for the rest of your life, I feel like, I don't know, you probably drive yourself crazy, so I would say you're surrounded by annoying people. I'd rather be alone. Uh, annoying people is annoying, so. <laughs> I'll be surrounded by people. I'm a people person, so I, I can, I could teach annoying people some, some things and get them on game a little bit. Can I just be honest here? Uh, I, I guess I could be surrounded by annoying people because uh, I have four kids and I love them to death, but they get a little bit annoying from time to time. I think my wife will agree to that too. <laughs> I'm used to it. <laughs> I'm I, it's had my birthday recently. I went to the movies by myself, and I was so excited. Mm. I mean, I love my family, but all. But. Well, Logan said something was interesting. He can teach them to not be annoying. Oh, okay. I didn't know that was so, part of it. I thought they were just annoying forever. I That's how we set it up. Logan, you're not allowed it. to teach people. Yeah, you can't teach them. Uh, all right. So, guys, listen. Uh, you watch the game. You watch the game in the seats. You watch the game at home. We're all armchair quarterbacks, unless you played the game. Uh, have you ever just wanted to call the shot? Well, now you can, uh, thanks to our app, our Titans app, presented by FanDuel. Titans pick them. This is very cool. I don't know if you've played it yet. Uh, we give away prizes. You basically, you're picking uh, the outcome of each drive. It's a touchdown, field goal, and, oh, you know, wow. yeah, you can play. So, you can, yeah, so download the app. You've tried the app already. Titans app, and you can play Titans pick them. It's very cool. So, do it this, uh, this Sunday when we go get that win in Denver. And, uh, and then we give out uh, prizes weekly. We got out prizes by the end of the season, and apparently you're playing against Eddie now. So, good luck to you. All right. <laughs> Speaking of the game coming up that we're going to get that W, we're going to talk about it on the other side. So, do stick around. We've got more Titans Blitz on the other side. Go ahead and download that app. <laughs> <laughs> Presented by Farm Bureau Health Plants. Back with Eddie George. Let's talk about this game. It's two-minute warning. We got a big game coming up, as we talked about uh, before the commercial break. Uh, going up in Denver. Uh, got to get the ship right. Got to get back to three and three. You hey. said ship. Ship. <laughs> well, either way, it's ship right. Ship right. <laughs> either true. way, is you on point, right? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's he's that not, time is he's not wrong. Day. Yeah, I mean, uh, got to get it right. This is right up your alley. Yeah. First key: establish that run game. Yes. Yeah, got to get that yes, going. Yes, Must yes. control the clock um, in this game. Uh, listen, you know, they did a nice job last week. The Denver Broncos defense did a nice job last week of containing Melvin Gordon. Yeah. Held him to, what, 31 yards on 12 carries? Yeah, shut him down. Uh, shut sure. him down. Mm -hmm. and, and, and really, you know, you look at the Broncos record, what, one and four? Yeah. They're better than one and four. They are. Very good team. Yeah. Uh, Flacco can play extremely well, but... They, they've got to be able to establish the run with Derrick Henry, make mm -hmm. it a point of emphasis, even if they say, listen, you know, we will get the big fella, you know, the ball 16 straight times. Yeah. Let's, we're making a point to get him going and build off of that. So I, I think they should make a statement by just saying, hey, we're going to Roger, Roger back this, this game, Derek, and just feed off of you and run play action off of you. This yeah. Week. And you said something, too. When, when teams know that's what you're going to do and you do it, Oh, it, it, you know, it kills it, your confidence. It, the defense, it yeah. Yeah, I mean, you take the heart from the defense. It's mm -hmm. like, man, we cannot stop this no matter what we do. Yeah. We can't block them. We can't get off blocks and tackle them. We can't catch yeah. them. And they'll just quit. You, yeah. That's what you want. You want to impose your will and make them quit. Well, on the other side of that, we got to stop their run game. Which is very good. Philip Lindsay is a uh, is a dynamic back. Yeah. He's quick. He's yeah. strong yeah. for a small size. Look, he's a little Tasmanian devil. I mean, he's just... <laughs> He's a guy, a water bug that squirts around, makes big plays, and he's a tough guy. You know, you look at him. Royce stature, Freeman here. Royce just Freeman as... out of Oregon, runs hard. Yeah. So it was a dynamic duel between those guys. And 191 the... rushing yards. <sighs> yeah. They mean, between but, the two of them. But our defense is, is good enough, I believe, to stifle them and put the game in Flacco's hands. Yeah. And, and that's the best chance you have at slowing down this Denver Bronco offense. They're making plays all over the field, mm -hmm. um, but they, they're – they're one and four for a reason. They haven't yet to really find a way to finish games. Yeah. They did it last week, mm -hmm. but we got to 
nullify all of that this week by really getting at the Flacco, making uh, him uncomfortable. Third key, and this is all about, you know, these are defensive games. We play these tight games, mm-hmm. but we have to keep Von Miller in check. Uh, linebacker Bradley Chubb out with a torn ACL yeah, out for the season, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah, I mean, but so Miller is, you know, their, their key threat there on defense. And he lines up all over the field. Yeah, Vaughn has always been a problem. Yeah. Uh, since he's been, a, been since he's been in the league as a rookie, uh, nasty off the edge, uh, plays the run really well, and you know we're going to have to find ways to neutralize him. He can be a force, and given our problems on the offensive line, it's going to be a point of emphasis to protect this guy, run at him, wear him out, yeah. and, uh, and 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 find ways not to be in long third and long situations, and and uh, and be effective with our, our uh, moving the chains. When uh, when you were playing, uh, you know, you always know who's on the other side of the ball. But oh, a guy yeah. like that, you're, I mean, oh. even if you're not chipping or not taking the ball, I mean, if you're, you just always have to know, right? Listen, it behooves you to know <laughs> exactly where 58 is lining up at all times. Yeah. Because he's a problem. Yeah. Whether he's over the tight end, inside, outside as a linebacker, you never know. He's a disruptive force that you got to, like, guys that you know, Junior Seau, know where he's at. Yeah. Know where Ray Lewis is. Yeah. Know where uh, Lawrence Taylor is right. at all times. He fits that same mood. Uh, and finally, and real quick, just the final point. we, we got to get up off the mat and keep fighting. Well, success. What do you say to the guys? Listen, the only way you get to success is through failure. And mm-hmm. we learned from last week. We build off of some of the great things last week and just continue to move forward. The season is, is still young, mm-hmm. so there are great, uh, long, a lot of games to be played, but we have a great foundation, a great nucleus to build off of. We get it done with a win in Denver. So, in Denver. Yes. It can be done. done. It why, will be why, done. why do you think some, we, we are playing better on the road? Is it, is it, is it harder t- at home sometimes? You know I what? Mean, it can be. You would think pressure, home field advantage, but is there some But pressure? the pressure of winning in front of your own fans can be that way. Mm-hmm. But when you're on the road, it's us that us against the world mentality. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a workerman's type of environment yeah. where it's a road game. Like, this is all business as usual. Yeah. Let's go out here, take care of business, and get back home. And I think I think we'll get it done. I like our chance. We're gonna get it done. Yeah. We're gonna get it done. We're gonna get it done. Guys, stick around. We got more Titan splits on the other side. We'll be right back. Show Eddie, a little overtime, overtime for you. The Eddie uh, they, they love you, man. <laughs> Wendy's uh, hot take of the week. Listen, uh, the Titan, Titans partnered with the uh, Jimmy and Rosalind Carter uh, Work Project and Habitat for Humanity of Greater Nashville mm. uh, this week. It's very cool. The rookies uh, went out to build uh, affordable homes and uh, for low-income families. You know, you can see there they were uh, they weren't swinging any hammers right now because they gotta you know take no, care of that, those hands exactly hammers. right. So but they were there showing their support, uh, helping serve the meals and and, and helping out. It's it's so huge to be a part of the community like that, yes. you know, and in rookies especially, coming into the, you know the professional football players right. now, the keys of the kingdom given to them. Right. It's it's good to see that stuff. Yes, and that's what rookies are for. You can't trust them on the field, <laughs> so you send them out to the community, have them do the grunt work. But it's always good to have uh, the Titans organization to be a part of the community and the efforts that are going on yeah. and to be involved and entrenched in what's going on. Yeah, well, and especially, I mean, this is a Absolutely. great project. I think it's 20 homes in a week homes. they're putting wow. together. Yeah. Do you remember back, uh, you know, when you were coming to the league, mm-hmm. opportunities like this, what it meant for you? How did it, it, it shape you as a football player, as oh, a wow. man? I mean, these are young men. Well, again, football, in short, is it, just a platform. Mm-hmm. It's a, a way for you to give back and to help others. I mean, we are role models. We mm-hmm. are uh, influencers. We are people that can, athletes are people that can affect change. Mm-hmm. And when we can go out on our spare time to give the community, show that we're interested in helping them build mm-hmm. um, homes, Homes or uh, raise awareness for cancer or uh, whatever it is, you, you want to do that. You know, it's, it, it really um, allows you to be in a giving spirit and operate out of an excellent spirit, which you'll be blessed in return. So it's why not. Available for motivational speaking. No, it's true, man. Yeah. I couldn't have said it better myself. Thank you. Thank you. All Let right, well, guys, listen. <laughs> game coming up, right? I don't know where you're watching at home. Well, maybe you want to check this out. Uh, we've got a game day hangout series mm-hmm. happening. Bra- a brew house south in Franklin. 
Titans at Broncos, October 13th, 325 is the kickoff. You might want to get there a little bit earlier, but come hang out with uh, with some fellow Titans fans. I know you you like the comfort of your home, uh, but this is a good hang. So brew house out there. Beer half price? Right. What? what? <laughs> now oh, you might see man. Eddie there. He's enjoyed it so much. I'm on a beer drinking, but half price anything, <laughs> I'm there. <laughs> I'm hanging out with Eddie tonight. Uh, guys, thank you so much for being here. We're going to bring home this win, right? Yeah! Titans pick them, part of the Titans app presented by FanDuel. You got to take advantage of that. Win some prizes all year long, whether you're playing at home or you're playing here in the stadium. Thank you guys for watching Titans Blitz. We will see you next week with that W. Thank you, Eddie, for being here. <laughs>